Guys, I got I, I just ran over Garrett. The, the cops asked me a bunch of questions. I think I'm in the clear. Uh, so I think this YouTube channel is going to be finally mine. There's a lot of new content coming, and I don't know what we're going to do, but it's just going to hey. be me. Do you want to watch Space Jam? Damn it. <laughs>
This kind of, this is this is just crazy. What's really funny about this? We were when we were just watching this. Literally five minutes was before that, we started. Uh, the cast is basically Michael Jordan as himself, Bill Murray as himself, and then Wayne, Wayne Knight <laughs> as just some like schmuck. Uh, public publicist. Nobody knows. Who, nobody knows who Wayne Knight is. Exactly. Google him real fast. You'll know who he is. Exactly. I'll put his. I'll put his picture up there. But it's just. <laughs> it's funny. Like he's this. It's it's interesting to me how um, the live action portions of the movie are almost a little bit more entertaining because Michael Jordan's acting is so bad. Everybody's acting is terrible, it, except it, for Bill Murray. It, it, Bill, it, Murray Bill Murray's throws, Bill Murray. Bill so. Murray throws a no-hitter in this movie. Oh, it's so it. good. His best role, hands down. His best, not even his best cameo. Nope. His best role in He plays in a movie. significant part in this movie. As himself. As himself. As he always I love when actors play themselves. Me too. It's the greatest thing. Bill Murray, I think, is probably the best actor in movies to play himself. Like, I just think of, like, Zombieland. Yeah, exactly. He's had had many cameos where he's just, hey, it's Bill Murray. Exactly. Even when, like, when he's at a Cubs game or something, in real life, like, he's at a Cubs game, he's the most, like, people are watching him, not the game. Because he's, like, the one that's freaking out over every play. Exactly. Everything. He's just the best guy. He's, and and it's really funny, I told you, like, there's, like, a five-second scene where he's talking to Daffy Duck. Yeah. And it's, like, the funniest interaction in the entire movie. And it's, like, 70, or, like, 60 minutes in. Yeah. And there's just this one interaction where he, like, tugs at his shorts and then they talk for a second. Yeah. Great stuff. It's like, you know, I want to see an entire movie where Bill Murray just talks to the loons because his comedic you know timing and his reactions perfect. would be perfect for the loonies. You know what? Let's write a Netflix show. <laughs> <laughs> Bill Murray and the Looney Tunes. Old, decrepit Bill Murray. You know what's crazy, though, for all you people at home, is that uh, Bill Murray, the reason he even did the movie was because back, like, ten, almost ten years prior, 1988, when Who Framed Roger Rabbit came out. If you guys remember that one. Yeah, he, like, he like passed over a role to be in that movie, and that was, like, a really great and successful movie. And so he regretted it, and so basically when another chance for him to be in a live-action animated movie came to be, he, he just took he jumped it. jumped on it. Yeah, he... And they kind of make a joke about it yeah. in the movie whenever him and Daphne are talking... And he's like, how did you get here? And he goes, I'm a friend with the producer. Yeah. Which he actually was in real life. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, he's, God, he's gold. He's just he's golden. so perfect. Stay golden, movie. pony boy. Do it. Uh, and then I guess, like, I mean, I don't know, like, there's a lot, of, one thing that I thought was really interesting about the movie, like, reading up about it, was that, uh, there's a lot of, like, references that I don't that I didn't, I wouldn't get normally, but yeah. there's a lot more like references to Michael Jordan's like real life events and yeah. experiences than you probably would have expected. A lot. There's like a plot line in the movie where he has to, that like has Daffy to and Bugs have to go back to Jordan's get his house shorts. and get his shorts because yeah, he, he always like a good luck charm. Yeah, for he now. always wore his college gym shorts underneath his Chicago Bulls gym shorts, mm-hmm. which I'm pretty sure Michael Jordan wrote himself into the movie. Yeah, it sounds like it's. It's pretty interesting, it, just like how ridiculous. Like they include like real life aspects of his life into a ridiculous Looney Tunes movie. And it's just like, oh, hey, everybody! everybody. Not only did Michael Jordan wear his gym shorts as a good luck charm, his college shorts as a good luck charm, he also you know flew off in an alien spaceship. That's a good luck charm as well. Yeah. <laughs> to go, yeah. Dad, this movie is actually a biopic. Yeah. It's not. Sure. It's not. It's not fake at all. This actually happened. I honestly think that what really happened. This is a, this is my theory. Is that during the baseball game that Michael Jordan had at the beginning of the movie, when the guy said that he was going to throw a slider, it just flew up it hit, hit Michael him, Jordan right. And in then the he head. got unconscious. And then the whole rest of the movie is an unconscious hallucination by Michael Jordan. Do you want to hear the saddest thing ever? What? That's the plot of Sandlot Three. Oh my God. No way. Yeah. Then the Sandlot Three, he's there's a famous pit or a famous baseball player and he gets hit in the head and he hallucinates that he goes back to the summer that he spent at the Sandlot. Oh no. And it has nothing to do with the original or the se- or the second one. Golly. It's terrible. Squints and uh, uh, Benny the Jet Rodriguez are adults in that movie yeah. for some reason. What the, what? <laughs> Why? What else do you have to say about this? That it's a wonderful movie that everybody should watch. And that there's lots of funny scenes. I think you can. I think you can get 
a good amount of entertainment out of this. That's pretty like. great. Yeah. There's a few jokes that I saw that you actually like. Oh. You, you actually laughed at. Because the, they're because some of them are like really bad. There's and good, certain jokes that I think are clever and bad. Kind of just make you giggle. Yeah, like there was a really good uh, Pulp Fiction reference that I don't remember being in there. Yeah, that was that was something that made me laugh. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, that that one that got me. It's good stuff. I'm a huge fan of that. Uh, and then there was like that scene where like one of the a one of the aliens or somebody like oh Marvin Martian like blows a hole in uh, Sylvester the cat. Oh yeah, just shoots right through him. Yeah, and then Sylvester's like oh my god, he's got like this huge gaping hole, and Tweety like flies, flies right through. through. He goes yeah, like boy, you booty cat. <laughs> And I was like, that's that's my kind of bad that's my joke. kind of bad joke. And it's I like that. It's a classic. Um, there's a there's a sexual reference right oh, up in there. Oh god. Whenever they're like sitting on the couch and he's like, is there anything else you uh yeah failed to perform at? And he's like, no. Yeah, the the all the basketball players that got their their yeah. skills taken away. That and one that was in the yeah they were like office. in a therapy or yeah. a therapy room or something. He was like, no. Like yes. Yes. <laughs> uh, Wait till the cameras turn off, Doc. I actually got to talk to you. Exactly. Um, oh, then there was like the. This is like okay. This is actually something I just I straight up just don't like about the movie. That I, there just can't be anything. Is um, Lola the bunny? The hottest Looney Tune ever. Uh, don't even say that, dude. That's creepy. It's supposed to be. No, it's not. I know. It's weird. It's, it's why is it there? It's it's like all, all okay. One, she's not even Looney. She doesn't act like not any a of the Looney, Looney Tune, Tune. But thick. Exactly. <laughs> but she's but she's like super sexual. She plays basketball and she doesn't like being called doll. That's her personality. That's it. And I just, I don't know, that rubs me the wrong way. Uh, it's a poor choice of words. But maybe you wanted it to rub you the right way? Uh, uh, gross. Uh, um, so That's the only thing you don't like? But then she becomes the Looney Tune later on. Later on in, in, late, in other iterations of the Looney Tunes, she actually does become a Looney Tune. Um, like, uh, there's the Looney Tune show. The Cartoon Network from 2011 to 2014. No, it wasn't. Um, <laughs> I don't believe you. But 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 yeah, I, she it, got better. Is me, what I'm trying to say. Tell me the plot of that. It's it's Looney Tunes in modern day life, in modern day society. You just have to see it. If you, I've only seen the best episodes. I don't know. I haven't. I don't I've know. Actually, what the I've bad never episodes seen it. Are, so. It just sounds absurd. Well, this. It sounds pretty freaking absurd to yeah, me. Yeah, but this is a classic. Classics can be absurd. Like, like, literally, there's a scene in the movie where the basketball players uh, go to a psychic, and she's telling them, basically, the plot of the movie. And they're all like... Pfft. Yeah. They, they, they don't... It's, it's my... It's like... If you tried to describe this movie, it's Michael Jordan, who teams up with the Looney Tunes to take on aliens from outer space. In a game of basketball while he's retired. But not only in a game of basketball, but in a game of Mortal Kombat, because the Looney Tunes are going to be hauled off to be enslaved for the rest of their lives, along with Michael Jordan. <laughs> it's, I can't... I just wish I could see the executives and, like, the meeting that happened. Yeah, like, who came up with this? Alright, we're rolling. So what if, what if there was aliens and they wanted to take the Looney Tunes to a theme park and then they had to play the Looney Tunes in a basketball game, right? But they took all of the NBA's powers. Are you, are you keep, keep it up? Are you keep it up? Keep it up? Okay. This is, this is where it gets crazy. Are you sure? You sure? I still got... You want some? Okay, anyways, they're gonna get have to get Michael Jordan, number 23, your airness. That guy. And then, to make it even crazier, guess who's gonna save the day? You you won't even guess. I bet you won't even guess. It's gonna be Bill fucking Murray. How's that? Is that a good movie? I don't care. You're gonna fucking make it either way. Let's do it. Are we making it? Yeah. Did you call Michael Jordan yet? No. Get on the phone! Okay. You actually did, uh, direct this. And... 
It was directed by Warner Brothers and the powers that be. Ivan. It said, no, I think it said Joe, Joe Pitka. There it is. Joe Pitka. Yeah. I'm not familiar. Uh, I mean, like, he's probably directed, uh, like, other stuff. But, you know what's, like, interesting to me? Like, a pro- this what's is that? probably, like, really well known by now. But, like, everybody knows that this movie basically got made based on, because it was loosely inspired by the Nike commercials. <laughs> That air that Michael Jordan did. I know. I just forget that happened with the with Bugs Bunny. But what I what I'm asking, and I hope somebody actually has an answer for me, and they can leave it in the comments. What was the inspiration for those commercials? Because I don't. The only thing that I can see why they would even think about doing something like that is because they called Bugs Bunny, um, like, uh, airness. Like yeah. instead of air, like airness, as uh-huh. it, 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 he was hairness. Yeah. Uh, so, just for that one joke, I, I guess. guess. So. But I mean, like, I I don't know, because because that came out before this movie was made. Um, just Michael Jordan really likes money. Yeah, and then I don't know. And he was in a lot of gambling debt. What was really interesting, you know, later thinking about those commercials is that Nike came out with like an anniversary edition or something like that of tennis shoes that were like Bugs Bunny. Nike tennis shoes. That's pretty dope. Yeah. Pretty rare, I think, now, but... Do you know what my one problem with this movie is? What's that? We talked about it a little bit while we were watching it. The Monstars don't have a logo. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm kind of upset about it, because it's just... They all have, like, a zero on their front and back. Yeah. But the, but the Toon Squad got dope-ass... Yeah. Fucking... Like, the, the rings. Bass, yeah, the whole, and like... The, and, the, and the word right there. It's so great. Yeah. Monsters. It's got nothing. nothing. And then they all pretty much explode each other at the end as a little joke. Yeah. Because they're like, we could be the Looney Tunes. Yeah. And then we never see those guys ever again. Ever again. They, ne- they didn't exist. Yeah. Um, That's good stuff. Oh, one thing I have to comment on, just because this is, I don't know, because we're talking about the movie, is because uh, I mentioned this during the scene where they go, Bugs and Daffy go to uh, get Michael Jordan's shorts from his house. No, they didn't. I commented that I feel like the scenes where Michael Jordan's in the Looney Tunes world. Oh yeah, yeah, we did talk about that. They this. like they. It looks really bad. Yeah, but whenever like, the Looney Tunes are in the real world, it looks more believable. It, exactly. Like it actually look. It actually reminds me a lot more of. Who frame Roger Rabbit? Yeah, because they're just animating over real life instead of having a person in a green screen and then uh, putting them into the and then and then all the CG in, that they have to use, like when his arm stretches or when he gets like balled, balled up. up. That's like a that's a nightmare right there. Yeah, just seeing his screaming face or like when he gets into the the golf hole. Yeah, yeah, when he gets sucked in like that. Yeah, and then he's just ah! yeah. It's a uh, I don't know. It's a uh, it's. It's got a few... It's definitely... I have to keep reiterating. It's not supposed to be a good movie. Yeah. I feel like. That's like... It's not... It I don't want to say it's aged, terrible. It hasn't, it hasn't aged terribly. It but has not. It's a, it's supposed to be something that's dumb. Yeah. It's I supposed like. to be silly. Even though it's the Looney Tunes and it's supposed to be of like a little bit higher grade comedy, it's Michael Jordan in the Looney Tunes. It, it, it's like Batman and Scooby-Doo. You know? It's ridiculous, but it's supposed to be. Yeah, so I, I I'm very lenient on the film. I I find it very very hard to be harsh to it. It's kind of hard to. Yeah, it's just so lovable. Cause it's just like it's it's just cute. It would be like it's like an ugly baby. <laughs> <laughs> you always gotta love the ugly baby. That's actually a really good metaphor. Yeah. So um, do you have anything else? No, it's wonderful. So, yeah. Right. Uh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm too, I'm too, like, hungry for this shit. I know, but let's yeah. do it! Alright. Get it together! <laughs> Alright, let's do it! Energy. Let's go. If you like this video, like, comment, and subscribe. Hey, Garrett, you want to jump over the car again? If you die, maybe leave me the YouTube channel?